Sketch the graph of y equals x plus 2l squared times x minus 6 on the set of axes provided. Clearly label any axial intercepts with their coordinates. So the first thing we can do is find the y-intercept of this graph, and we know that that happens when x is equal to 0. So in the equation we're going to have y equals, and wherever there's an x we replace it with 0, so it'll be 0 plus 2 all squared times 0 minus 6. So if we evaluate that we'll have y equals, and 2 squared is 4, and 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. So that means that the coordinates of the y-intercept are at x equals 0 and y equals minus 24. Next we can find the x-intercepts of the graph, and that occurs when y is equal to 0. So we want to solve the equation 0 is equal to x plus 2 all squared times x subtract 6. So according to the null factor law, x plus 2 could equal 0, or we could have x minus 6 is equal to 0. For the first equation we can subtract 2 from both sides, and this gives x is equal to negative 2. For our second possibility we can add 6 to both sides of the equation, and that will give x is equal to 6. So the x-intercepts are at negative 2 comma 0 and 6 comma 0. And if we have a look at the form that the equation is, we can see that this x plus 2 all squared is a repeated factor. And we know that a repeated factor means it will come up and touch the axes and move away again, or it would come down, touch the axes and move away again. So in this particular case we know that it is a positive cubic, because when we expand this, there wouldn't be a negative sign in front of the x cubed term. So that means that our graph will start down here, touch at negative 2, come down, and then go back up again. So this axial intercept here was at negative 2 comma 0, and that was the repeated factor that behaves a little bit like a parabola at that point. And then the y-intercept occurred at 0 comma negative 24. And then the next x-intercept occurred at 6 comma 0. So that's the graph of this cubic equation. On this slide we've graphed the cubic equation using a computer program and it's a little bit more accurate than our by hand sketch but you can see that all the key features remain the same. We've also got the computer to label the local minimum or turning point at approximately 3.33.